let us discuss on documentary an important definition of documentary is provided by the pioneer of the documentary movement john grierson who believed it is the creative treatment of actuality the documentary is generally perceived as films with a message or films that depict reality however many theorists argue that the representation of a part of reality in itself is an artificial construct or leads to subjective interpretation television docu series are generally tv series presented in several episodes with usually where the filmmaker is not interested in playing it on theaters sometimes there are single episode documentaries as well as those where a particular real event is either recreated in a single episode such as national geographics documentary india remonetized based on indian government's demonetization in 2016 many times travel documentaries have multiple episodes or maybe a continuing series as well television documentaries tell us about the socio cultural working of the real world through interviews recreations exploration of facts and interpretations through moving pictures and sounds however documentaries are not about recording the reality but it is also about the presentation of the raw footage in a manner that is understood by the viewer the role of an editor and director in a documentary attains importance because they choose the footage and the sound bites that are to be kept in the video for creating a documentary discourse television documentaries create a relationship between the audiences and the external world through its footage or a combination of sound and images that creates a sense of the real world as it exists thus viewers have a faith that the documentary is a representation of the real world rather than a product of a creative imaginary of the filmmaker and thus develop a sense of trust and truthfulness about the account being presented documentaries contain expert interviews such as journalists sociologists historians defense analysts economists as well as eye witness accounts filmmakers provide evidence to convince the audience regarding their point of view scholars and experts believe that documentaries provide a deeper and analytical narration of the events phenomenon and developments and help to involve citizens in meaningful ways dear learners let us discuss on animation animation television is a more famous genre among children's television however it is increasingly being used to break the monotony of television news as well aaj tak so sorry is a unique example of animation being used in television news especially on the popular and current affairs topic an animation series on television has a common title some main characters with a basic theme or background a tv animated series might be 15 to 20 minutes long animated series are available in a variety of genre and has multiple audiences varying from children to adults nowadays animated characters are made part of regular tv shows to add freshness and uniqueness to the show 
even new channels would bring animated characters or caricatures of important personalities to break the monotony of talking heads especially during election coverage animation series has a history of being used for public service messages on tv and have quite successful in spreading the message of health gender equality among others meena on doodarshan was a child based animated tv series that served multiple functions other than entertainment and was quite successful let us discuss on television advertisements television ads are one of the most frequently occurring tv program formats one of the primary purposes of having tv based commercials is revenue generation the other aspect is about informing the general public about the current and upcoming goods and services which can be purchased by them since tv is an audio visual medium it has a far greater scope for influencing the public through the visual medium as a result tv ads with the right kind of emotional content can influence the taste and preferences of the consumers tv ads also differ in terms of formats as the content of the ads vary and cannot be clubbed into a single uniform format it depends upon the design of the product or service followed by the target audience for which the ad is being made tv ads can be understand with the following animation these are the form of ads which are mostly computer generated 2d or 3d visuals the purpose of having an animation is to create a visual spectacle in terms of fictional characters the primary aim here is to create a specific contest the primary aim here is to create a specific context which can be complemented through animation or animated elements let us discuss about mini fiction these are the type of ads which provide a mini fictional narrative which includes the main character who is being identified and a small scene where they are successfully overcoming the problem highlighted majority of ads on tv fall under this category of mini fiction talking heads this is a type of ad which is basically designed to promote a product by incorporating the views and opinions of the users or some celebrity figure who has been endorsing the product the ad involves highlighting the positives of the product in terms of its usage and its utility these forms of ads help in creating the aspect of trust and reliability towards the product let us discuss on stand alone ads these are the types of ads which have a single independent narrative and do not link with any other advertisement of a similar product or brand the primary purpose of these ads is to promote exclusivity ads for instance based on mutual funds or a particular life insurance plan etc series ads these are the types of ads which are designed in series for the primary purpose of promoting a single brand the advertisements may differ to some degree with each other but the overall message of the ad remains the same for instance ads like little soap or a coca cola and are based on series as they promote the product and the brand in different contexts let us discuss on television films tele films or television films are films which have been designed specially for tv they are feature length motion pictures that are produced and distributed to a television network television based films 
came into production because filmmaking was an unstable business and most of the TV networks were not appreciative towards film programming. The fear was that it would result in the production of independent films which would disbalance the market setup for TV content development. TV based films were designed to promote the network or the channel through the use of exclusive content which was broadcasted during the prime time slots provided by different TV networks. Thus, there was a constant struggle between the big and the small players in terms of acquiring the prime time slots as in most of the cases the latter would end up with less desirable time periods. As a result, the number of TV commercials for such time slots were limited too. Most of the telefilm varied between the time slot of maximum 90 minutes. It also included the time slot for TV commercials. The total duration varied between 2 to 2.5 hours. Most of the TV films were broadcasted during the weekends with the assumption that the general public will be at home and therefore there will be a higher viewership. In the initial time period, many of the television films featured popular stars and celebrities and the budget for the same was higher too. The stories written were periodic, semi cliffhangers coinciding with the network scheduled times for the insertion of commercials. They were further managed to fill the fixed running times allotted by the network to each movie series. The overall size of the cast was small and repetitive and the production quality was kept standard keeping because the technological limitation of broadcasting on TV. Even the crew employed for the same was small. In rarest of the cases, the CGI effects employed would be a premium quality. Otherwise, the overall production process was kept standard. TV based films were shot on 35 mm film. Most of these films were made on a limited budget due to the lack of revenue streams which on TV could only be done through sponsorship and advertisements. Despite the limitation, telefilms were a popular TV format for the dissemination of various content, especially in the field of development related or social awareness related information. In India, Durdashan has been quite active in making socially relevant telefilms for the viewers. Let us conclude. From the given module, I do believe that the learner will now be clear in terms of understanding about the important technical formats of television format and TV programming, which are most common and used for broadcasting of content by different TV networks and why there is a need for the same in terms of catering to different media preferences of the consumers. Thank you again.